Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been a beautiful evening here in Central Texas. Skies are clear. Right now, the winds are rather light compared to our 30 mile per hour winds we had this afternoon. Take a look here. This is our live Centex Seamless Gutter Sky Tracker right here in the Woodway area. And again, as we look at uh, Hewitt Drive and off in the distance there, skies are mostly clear and temperatures are really starting to drop fast. Take a look at some of these numbers. 45 right now in Waco, 46 up in the Hillsborough area. Colleen is at 49 degrees, still holding out of the 50s down in the Brazos Valley. Caldwell checks in right at 51 degrees and look at the winds much lighter out of the northwest at seven here in Waco, five in Llano over toward the Brownwood area. North the northwest wind around four miles per hour. So no weather problems expected tonight. Granted, it's going to be chilly and I'm sure you're, you're going to hear the heater click on and off overnight in your uh, place. That is for sure. That's because we have the big high moving on top of us by tomorrow morning. Temperatures falling into the upper 30s in our area. The farther to the north you go up around the Metroplex and I'll say right over on 20 there heading over toward the Abilene area. They could be talking temperatures in the low 30s. So definitely the freezing temperatures the farther north and west you go. But as we go throughout the morning tomorrow, a lot of sunshine, not many clouds around temperatures by noontime climbing into the mid 50s and by the afternoon we should be in the mid 60s. Not bad. Granted, we should be warmer than this. We should be in the 70s, but it sure beats our 50s. We had today Friday 5 o'clock. You know what that means. Getting ready for high school football should be a great night for that, but take your coat with you. If you are headed out to the games, it'll cool off in a hurry and you'll be happy that you have it with you by early in the morning on Saturday. Temperatures will be basically lower 40s in most areas and then as we go throughout the day on Saturday it should be a nice day mostly sunny even warmer and again if the kids are heading out doing some trick-or-treating in the afternoon hours temperatures are going to be in the 70s so we're not looking bad whatsoever we're getting warmer and warmer and warmer over the next several days but still running just a little bit below average but as for tonight though we're going to keep it mostly clear winds are very light so our temperature is going to be about the same as our wind chill, about 37 degrees, the low temperature. And then tomorrow there could be some patchy fog. It's going to be in those low lying areas that really don't uh, see a lot of wind. I think most of us are going to be fine. So mostly sunny skies, 66 degrees, the high temperature winds out of the north now at four to eight. Take a look at this here. You know what this is as we hit the weekend. Of course, this is going to be a 49 hour weekend, right? Because we turn the clocks back, pick up an extra hour, right? Can't forget about that right now on Saturday, 72 degrees looking beautiful. A lot of sunshine around on Sunday. Again, you're waking up just an hour later, right? 68 degrees. So we're going to have a little front that moves through here. Nothing that's going to cause any rainfall to fall, but it will just bring to slightly cooler weather there on Sunday. As we look at the rest of the long range 10 day forecast brought to you by Lockridge Priest Home Services, 68 degrees again on Sunday, 63 on Monday, and then we start to warm it up. Election day right now, high and dry, a lot of sunshine, no rain, no weather problems at all on Tuesday. So no excuses not to get to the polls. If you haven't voted yet, 69 degrees the high, and then we start to warm it up mid to upper 70s for the end of the week. And we're looking at maybe a slight chance of rain next weekend. But I'll tell you what, that may change. Overnight lows will go from the 30s to the 40s and eventually into the 50s there as we hit Wednesday and Thursday. And down toward Bryan and College Station, looking real nice this weekend. Sunshine, temperatures in the low 70s, a little bit cooler on Monday. Monday, back to 71 degrees on election day and then we're going to warm it up. There could be some 80s showing up on the board Thursday and Friday of next week with overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. But it's a little chilly out there right now, Adam, but uh, tell you what, it's not going to be as windy as it was this afternoon. <laughs>